But hello again. I'm Ace, and these are my friends Heather and Rain, and we are volunteers with the Pet Prescription Team Therapy Dog Organization, and together we participate in the Read with the Dogs program at Fullerton Library. And today we're going to indulge in another exciting episode of Read with the Dogs Home Edition. Now the way this works, if you recall, if you've joined us before, is we're going to read a story to you, and then when we're done, we're going to give you a moment to go get a book to read to us. And Heather and Rain will sit quietly while you read to them, just like they do at the library. Okay? So let's get started with our selection here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and this is our friend Jack back here. He's going to listen as well. And the story that we've selected to read for you today is called A Giraffe and a Half. And it's written by Shel Silverstein. You ready for this, kids? Okay, let's get started. A Giraffe and a Half by Shel Silverstein. If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. If he put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. If you dressed him in a suit, and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. If a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. If he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, then you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played tooty toot, You'd have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. If he used a chair to comb his hair, uh, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. If he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half of the rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk, you would have a giraffe and a half of the rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk. If he met a dragon who sat in a wagon. You would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike. You would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. If a blubbery whale got hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. <sighs> if he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole, you would have... <gasps> A giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knees and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole. <sighs> but if you bought him a pole to climb out of the hole and the whale left his tail and went off with a male, 
And he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike, and he left the fat dragon, cause his wagon was sagging. And he gave his chair to a tired old bear, and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he told that old snake to go jump on the lake, and a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose, while the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you. And that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute, and he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. What'd you think, kids? You like that story? Heather, did you sleep through that one? Hmm. Well, that was A Giraffe and a Half by Shel Silverstein. I hope you enjoyed that one. Now, it's your turn to read a story to us. So in just a minute, I'm going to give you a countdown, and I'm going to ask you to put the recording on hold, and then you go find a book that you think Heather and Rain would enjoy, and they'll sit and they'll listen to you for a couple of minutes while you read to them. And then we'll come back and talk to you again for a couple of minutes, okay? So, are you ready? When I tell you, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, pause. And we're back. Well, thanks a lot. I think that was a good story that you read to us. Now, before we go, um, I don't know about you, but I know Heather and Rain can go a little stir-crazy being in the house all day, so they like to get outside and take a walk in the fresh air while making sure that they stay socially distant. Well, they like nothing better than a good parade. And this last week, we had the opportunity to see a parade right here in our own neighborhood. And it was perfectly safe, as you'll see here. So let's watch the parade along with Heather and Rain, shall we?
There you go. A duck parade. Well, we're going to leave you now, but we're going to remind you to come back here next Wednesday for another exciting episode of Read with the Dogs Home Edition. And we'll have uh, another dog and uh, someone else to read you in a new story. So please join us next week. In the meantime, Rain, would you like to say something? Goodbye. Stay safe.